Okay, this is a recording to show how to align two tracks in Audacity. Let's say you have a beginning. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had some... Hello, who's there? Oh, interrupting recording. All right, here we go. I'm going to stop the recording. Now, I have a new recording. Okay, Old MacDonald had a farm. Where was I? Um, all right. Cows, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, etc., etc. So now, these two tracks, whether I've recorded them in the same session or whether I've imported two tracks and this is how it looks, what you're going to get is... Right, so you need to move them together to align them properly. So here's one way. You highlight this track and do a cut and paste. Or if you're a little bit paranoid, you can use a copy paste. So I did a Command C, Command V. That's it. So here's my beginning where I was interrupted. And here is where, let's see. Hello, who's there? We had some. Hello, who's there? Oh. Okay, here's my knocking. I highlight. And then I can. E -I -E -I -O. So edit it that way. Or, again, you can use the cut option. Command X, Command V. And then do the same edit that you, you needed to do, right? With the knocking, and then you take those out. Or, you could use another tool called the time shift tool. So this, these tracks here is the beginning. And you need to get this one over here. You can select a tool. Here's your toolbar. This is my select tool, which allows me to point, pinpoint things, highlight things, right? This is called an envelope tool. It allows me to raise and lower the volume and create points at which to do that so I can do this, make this quieter, then it louder, and so forth and so on. It's a tricky tool to master, but it's really helpful if you need it. That's the multi-tool. That'll just confuse you. This is the one you want, the time shift tool. So click it. Now, you can't really select stuff. You can't highlight things, but you can move the files where you want them to go. So what you probably want is there and do the edits again, the, take out that knocking and stuff. Or you can edit first. Here's my selection tool again. Hello, who's there? We had some. Okay, here's my. I have a, um, there's a shortcut that allows me to highlight that, the end. I use Shift K. And it goes from the cursor to the end of the selection. I delete it. We had some. Now, I can go back to this one. Okay. So, now I can highlight that. And I go back to my time shift tool. There you are, my two arrows, time shift tool or shortcut F5, and whoop, now I can move that there. So let's see. On this farm, we had some cows, e -I -E -I -O. So those are two options to, to move um, 
the files together. So you have you start here. You have the time shift tool or F5, which allows you to zoop, move it back and forth. Or you have the selection tool and you can just copy or cut. I highlight this and hit the arrow to the right. It goes right to the edge. See where that cursor goes? And then paste, copy V. And then if you actually touch this little line, it makes it one file. It just joins them together. And then you edit from there. There's your, if you actually, you can make the files bigger, by the way, by dragging it. And then you zoom in. There's my knocking. I highlight that. And quick tip, there's a scrub tool. So after I'm highlighted, if I wanted to play at a certain spot, right? If I click here, it'll ruin my highlight. It'll start over. If you go to this top here, quick play enabled. If you have it enabled in your computer, it's easy. I don't, I don't remember how to enable it, but I did it. So you can hit play. It just select or hit the mouse. Um, all right. Ciao. So you, so now you don't have to reselect. Anyway, I can just delete that. Okay, so there you go. We have two separate tracks, and they're now aligned together. Thanks for watching.